Want a business you love that pays you well? Want a lifestyle where you can do what you want, when you want? Then you are in the right spot. It's time to overcome online overwhelm with OnlineMasterPlanSeries.com. Here's your host and one of the OMS mentors, Laura Wage. Andrew, what insider tips can you provide on being and staying productive? You know, one of the things that I like to do, I learned this probably about three years ago, was that I like to keep a to-do list next to my computer. Now, this is a written to-do list. And I'll write, now we all have to-do lists that are longer than the day is possible. And so I'll have this list of things to do. And as I as I do the important ones, I'll actually label the most important ones. I'll, I'll number them one to one to six or whatever it is. And then I'll work from the top and then I'll get those done in order. Now, if I don't get those done by the end of the day, I'll rip that piece of paper off. I'll write down the new ones um, on a piece, on a pad for the next day. So the ones that I haven't completed, I'll write them down. I'll add any new ones and I'll throw that old to-do list in the bin. I'll get rid of it so that I don't see it again. I know that it's done. It's out of my mind, out of sight. I don't have to think about it anymore. And what I, just by ripping that sheet off and throwing it away, I discovered that in the old days, I used to have a to-do list and it was sitting there and I keep adding to it the next day and I'd go back and just by having these old ones there, even though they were crossed off, I would still read them and think about, oh, wow, do I have to go back and do that? I can't, I started second guessing myself. So now I start with a clean slate every day. When I get to my desk, I know exactly what things I have to get done. I don't sit there at nighttime dreaming about it and thinking about it in the middle of the night. It's like, there it is there in the morning. I start fresh uh, and I go through the process again. I look at the, what, what's the most important ones to do, number them, and then start on that list again. So I found that that works for me every day. I've got legal notepads, old butts of them everywhere because I, I write so many to-do lists every day. And I just think it's one of my best productivity tools that I use. You know, it's interesting that you say that because there's um, a lot of research, a lot of studies have been done on the fact that if you set time aside before you go to bed at night, so before your day ends, set time aside where you write out, either in the form of a to-do list, goals, whatever you want to call it, you write out what you're going to accomplish or achieve the next day and which ones are your highest priority. And to your point, when you do that, you're not stressed about it. You're not worried about it. You're not thinking about those things at night. You go to bed knowing what your clear direction is going to be in the morning. Um, I found for me personally, you and, you and I have talked about this and you know we, we share this very unhealthy workaholic habit in many ways. And one thing that I found is actually healthy for me um, is if I also include personal things on that list, then I don't feel as guilty um, for setting time aside for a personal to do that next day, whether it's, you know, spending an hour Skyping with my daughter or whatever the case may be. But that doesn't just have to be a business list. Your to do's, especially when they have a great balance of, of work and personal life, can be a really healthy way to make you more productive than you already are. Yeah. And one of the things I do, I try and get number one out of the way before I even look at emails or Skype, you know, because that, those, those two are, can be interruptions and I always as I get sidetracked with that sort of stuff. So I'll try and get at least the first one out of the way, get that done, and then I can turn on my rest of my my, interac my interruptions and then uh, work on those other, uh, those other ones. But it's great to get started knowing that your first and biggest and most important task is out of the way before you get sidetracked at all. Yeah, Brian Tracy wrote a great book about it called Eat That Frog, and it is so true. When that biggest task is out of the way, the rest of the day feels lighter and actually more fun. Yeah, definitely, definitely. That's it for this episode. Don't let your next promising idea stop dead in its tracks because your overwhelm gets in the way. You need our free tips. Head on over to overcomeonlineoverwhelm.com now.